Let's look at our comps. Okay, Coast is on our right, so... So we do McCree, Junkrat, um, Orisa Hog, Anna, Lucio. So, okay. So remember when I went over supports? Lucio's job here, protect the Anna. Uh, the Anna can heal, build Nano, and get offensive nades off. Though Lucio has done their job. Uh, Anna, you're healing the tanks. Uh, not much to say. Looking for offensive nades, sleep, sleep darting uh, flankers. Um, so, you you guys are playing. This is like a slow composition. Uh, high damage, right? You have the Junkrat, you have the Roadhog, the highest damage to tank. You have the McCree, who does a surprising amount of damage to tanks, um, especially if we're getting those headshots. So it's an extremely high damage yeah. composition. Yeah, they Very, have to get there first and set up. Yeah, I immobile. Um, right, the the shield can only go in one place. Right. Um, but so let, let's see how you guys play this because we don't know what they have. They have yeah. But yeah, you want to keep them as it's the same thing with the enemy team on Gibraltar defense. You want to keep them at arm's length. You want to be have them facing your shield, taking all this damage. Um, it's a slow composition, right? Jay, I'll be with you, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Where is that? They have a they have a break break break. They're pushing right. Okay. Or sorry, left left left. They're one down, they're one down. Deep below, really low, deep below, deep below. So what are they running? They're running kind of the same thing, except with a D.Va. They're running at Brig Mercy, and they're running Hanzo McCree. So the first thing that uh, you guys should identify, especially when you're running this composition, is that you have way more shield break than they do. You, you will win the shield war every single time, because you have Junkrat, you have Roadhog, uh, McCree actually has decent shield break, any of the Rissa. They have the D.Va instead of Roadhog, which does less damage to shields, and Hanzo instead of Junkrat, Junkrat, which does less damage to, damage to shields. So you guys win the shield war every single time. So how you guys can take advantage of that is playing behind your shield, right? Everybody just right. play behind the shield, spam out their shield, um, and they won't be able to take any space because you just have so much damage, right? Right. So they try to rotate or rotate and get a flank on us. Uh, what we want to be doing is looking where the enemy team is, setting up a shield maybe back here. So you know don't get don't give their Hanzo and McCree these angles of your team. You want to be setting up the shield back here and just spamming their shield, spamming their tanks. And playing slow, and right, that, 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 that's pretty much it. Um, left side. Like McCree, you can just because they'll have no shield, you can just take advantage of that. You don't need to take any fancy high ground positions. You can sit behind our shield and shoot their tanks when the shields are when you guys inevitably win the shield war with this comp. So I'd say for the future, when you guys are running this, I think it's a good comp actually. I, I really like it. Just identify if you have shield break and whether you need to. Um, you know, just play around your shield. Because um, if you have everybody focusing the shield, it'll go down in like two seconds. And they won't be able to do anything. Um, I would say maybe your comp right here is weak to goats. Uh, especially if you're playing on the point, because they'll be able to walk past your shield and swing on you. Um, so in that case, you guys do want to take the high ground there and spam them out. But, you know, the general thing is you guys want to keep them at arm's length and do damage to them before they can get to you. And just play really slow. You're rising. So see, uh, we're messing around in this area, um, and we don't have a shield set up. So if we just play back here a little bit, maybe in this cubby, we can we can set up a shield in the corner here, and we just spam them out. Um, we just have so much damage; uh, they they won't be able to find any angles. So that's definitely how we want to play this. I think I think uh, maybe defaulting to like back here um, is pretty good. But just you're basically just uh, identifying that the team is coming this way, and you're just like rotating. You're facing the shield. To face them, right? Um, yeah. I pulled the shield, sorry. Break, 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 break. They're down one, they're down one. Yeah, so you guys take this fight in here and you don't have a shield in there, and you know, you guys do have the spam, but the Hanzo finds a headshot because you guys are all committed to this without a shield inside that, that location. So, um, if you guys just played a little bit slower and you know, he wouldn't be. You guys didn't have to. You guys didn't have to take the fight to them. You know, they, they, they you, you guys just let them, let them make mistakes. Let them take your spam. Presence I've almost point. got dead eye. I've almost got dead eye. Alright, I'm pulling back. Yeah, I'm pulling back. I'm pulling okay. back. And yeah, we definitely do. Never want to be giving up the early cap. Um, cool. and they, they, they were able to do this because they spam shield, whereas we didn't. So we lost our shield. We had to back up. Um, and so, yeah. 
So giving up our early cap is an immediate reset. Okay. Especially if you're not going to We can try and reestablish high ground if you guys want. There's okay. a bridge, yeah, so let's go high ground, especially with the high noon. So you guys plan to go high ground here? Um, I like that. It's, it's, it's not too bad. Um, you know, you, you have the potential to get flanked by their Hanzo or something like that. But, you know, I think I think going high ground with this comp and spamming them out is fine. But, you know, you guys all can, can also just go main and win the shield war, right? So, I'll keep saying that. But not, not too bad to go high ground. Uh, we, guys, we don't, we don't you guys lose the fight because... Um, uh, now we did. Oh, well, okay. Mad Marker loses his footing a little bit, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they dragon you, so, you know. Oh, a little oh, bit unlucky there. Bring that up. <laughs> a little bit unlucky. Okay. But that's okay. <laughs> unlucky. He wasn't right, accounting for the speed. Back. Gotta move back out. Yeah, <laughs> I think so, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Oh, this is another thing. Um, so we, the reason why we have the Lucio here is to protect the Ana at all costs. But they don't have any flankers, so we can we can swap to greed here. You guys want to play slow anywhere? Anyway, we can swap to Zen. He have even more damage. Just the ultimate greed. Yeah. Um, you guys be extremely weak to flankers, but they don't have any, right? So you guys can get even more damage. So we don't we don't necessarily have to run the Lucio here. I mean, it's still not bad, but you know. No, I definitely don't. Mind. A Kree <laughs> outside. <laughs> yes, yeah, Zen's completely viable against this at least. I should. I should. Alright, we still pushing high ground? Let's say if you guys want to try and push forward, I can try and flank and get. I have Nana? Yeah, that'll work. You can flank. Nah, they have a Nana. They're kind of doing it too. Right? With me, huh? Shield wall right there. Right side? Yeah, and you're not even like trying to go down. Like, sure to break okay. it. Yeah. He's down. Break, 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 break. So, yeah, if you guys just like focus on it and identify it, you guys can bust that shield like half the time. And they'd just be so afraid of you. Uh, we go for a flank high noon play. Um, I typically don't like the flank high noon. Uh, in in solo queue, it's pretty good <laughs> because it's it's just good. It, people are caught unawares. But I, I'd say we don't want to do the flank high noon unless we have to. So I, I think so. High noon is a pretty worthless ultimate, but it it, it can be good if so. You want to do the flank high noon play when they have an overwhelming ultimate advantage. You guys need to win the fight. Um, so the flying honeymoon is super risky. You'll probably die. But if you can get three kills, then you can completely turn the game around. So you can take that really risky play. It's worth it. But if they don't really have an ult advantage, and uh, you you guys are planning to use ults and win the fight anyway, um, the, the risky play will probably get punished. And it's just not definitely not worth right? So... Um, we probably want to be just be staying with the team, using the high noon in the mid fight when their when their shields are down, um, trying trying to maybe find value like that. Using high noon to, just to get a fast reload is also good, but you know uh, we we don't want to go don't go for these risky plays if we don't have to. Dave is on center back. Got sound barrier. Oh, I got. It. Okay, pull, pull. Let's get um, let's get a Ryan. Let's get a Ryan instead of a. Or I still I'll try and push in with a Ryan. Do you want me to hang on, Anna? Um, yes. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna speed boost a point, and we're gonna probably just have to brawl it. I think. You ready? Okay. Well, yeah. we have to go now. Go, 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 go. Going. You guys swapped to Ryan got, here. Uh, uh, I think it's fine. Um, you know, you could have won with the Arissa because you had better shield break, but you're like, well, we have the Lucio. Let's just walk past the shield and kill. So, not not too bad. Um, yeah, I don't mind the Ryan swap, but yeah, I you don't you didn't need to, but it, it's not a bad swap. Left side, possibly. And you guys down on the right. McCree behind, McCree behind you, McCree behind you, no flash, McCree behind you, no flash, and he's one. Let's get a million alt charge. I'm going right now, guys. So you guys kind of win this fight because Weasel Diva, ultimates. Diva. Um, Diva. Out of mech. That's, hey, well, that's fine. Um, yeah. As far as yeah. choice for Nano, was that the right call to make in that situation? Yeah, absolutely. A, a, a Nano Ryan. Um, well, so especially we got, if we got Shatter now, so that was a. I think, I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And okay. it, I just yeah, wanted to make sure that there shatter. wasn't a better uh, target for it. Yeah, yeah it's really yeah, good it's... for the Ryan to charge in, kind of almost feed. Then you Nano him, and he's back to a, a full right. HP, and he's in their team, and we're doing it with the damage boost. So. Just swing away. Yeah, this comp is. Uh, I I love nanoing tanks. The nano Ryan always nano monk. Um, because pl plays like Nanoblade, 
uh, nano sites with soldier. Uh, it's just it, it's too risky, and and we we get guaranteed value by nanoing tanks. Guaranteed value. Yeah. Uh, it okay. makes so much space for the team, and like Ryan and Monkey can just get get kills on their own. I just feel like that damage reduction. Um, and if you're running Lucio, if you're running yeah. Lucio and you nano the Ryan, the Lucio can just speed boost the Ryan like Around everywhere. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. because and, and things like this, nano sites and uh, nano blade don't benefit from the 300 HP gain, right? Right. So the tanks right. benefit from that. So it's really good for just tank to just go in all in, feed, then get nanoed and kill the entire team. That's a gotcha. It's a nice cool. place. I'm gonna ask a lot of basic Anna questions just because I'm still oh, yeah, no, of course, comfortable yeah. with her. So I just yeah, I'll, neither of us just, are that confident. Just bear, bear with the basic questions on her. Yeah, right, yeah, right now Anna's like the hardest hero in the game. Uh, you have good aim. She's, you have to... <laughs> she's so fun, though. She really yeah. is. She's fun. You have We've to noticed. not die to flankers. Have good positioning. Right. Like, mm. You have to land sleeps. Yeah, uh, land anties, make plays. It's just it's it's extremely difficult for character. She has it the is. same fun to me as Zen does. Just the very mechanically challenging. Um, yeah, exactly. So I'm I'm really enjoying getting yeah, it's, to, it's getting Zen to learn how to play. Manage your resources. <laughs> All right, let's push forward. Yeah, Anna's like, it's the skill cap is like infinite. You get an anti nade off of the entire team. Oh yeah. That's, um, that's great. It's, it's a free so fight win right there. Like her, her abilities are like okay. ultimates. The, the, yeah. They're what do we have coming up? We got really good character. For, let's look for shatter. Let's Very hard. Oh yeah, her sleep can shut to down. down. Okay, so I think that I think we're done on this map. Um, Looks like they're pushing. They 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 get the 99 because they they win the first few fights. Um, they're able to just build ultimates and retake. So that's kind of why you guys lose. But main takeaway from that: identify shield break. Um, look at their comp. You know, and kind of decide how how we want to play, um, but especially with this high damage comp, you guys can just just play slow, break their shield, and spam them out. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the next map. Okay, so you guys run dive here. Yeah. Yeah. This is a little far. Farm pad, go far off, please. Straight to the jump pad. Okay. So you guys get punished heavily for running the Fair Mercy with the flex support. Um, it, it's I I said this before, but it's like it's very greedy because you know you you want all the advantages of Zen and all the advantages of the damage boosted Farah, um, and you kind of one or the other will die, right? If you want to if you want to pocket a, do a Fair Mercy composition, the Zen will be completely alone, and it's just easily punishable. So you want to probably play the Lucio, just help your tanks out and not die. Thing at a point. And if you guys ever see a fair mercy with flex support, that's your winning condition. Just kill kill their flex support. Diva here. Looks like they're pushing, they're pushing as well. Same. Yeah, they're coming up. Arisa's Hanzo, 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 so it's Mercy a little hack, bit, it, hack, it is kind of hard to see this map because it's chaotic, but you guys could do a good job just claiming the high ground, denying that from them, and focusing the discords. Uh, but I mean, there, there's no safe spot for you, Vitamin D, so it, it's, it's like kind of not your fault that you die a lot in this map. Um, it's just like a more <laughs> a calm thing, right? Because you're like, first you go in the high ground, then you're like, actually, they're all shooting me and go to low ground, and you get like one shot by a Reaper. Mm. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, a one. it's a rough life for Zed, so especially if we want to Mercy, Mercy. Mercy, Mercy. Mercy, Mercy. Mercy, point. Drop in a point. Demon point. point. Mercy hack, Mercy hack, Mercy hack on point. Reaper, Reaper yeah, hack this definitely wasn't my best map. Yeah, but it's not you, I think, I think it really is. It's just very hard. Um, Both the tanks are down. Can you pull? Yeah, you'll, you, you'll get no healing. It's just, it's a rough life. I'm just gonna... okay. So... Um, so actually, we can skip this city center because I think the main point is the same thing on your Gibraltar attack. Uh, we just want to be focused on the main things, just identifying their dive targets, setting up dives, not taking too much poke. Um, and then also, we probably don't want to run the flex support uh, with the Fair Mercy because you, you get punished a lot for it. So I think that's the main thing on city center here. So yeah, just uh, making the dive a little bit, a little bit uh, cleaner, a little bit stronger. Um, What's the what's in this situation since they have a Reaper Hanzo? What would be the dive target here? So yeah, what do they have? They have 
Probably Reaper yeah. after he goes out of Wraith, right? Yeah, Reaper, you... Reaper's, like, really bad. Uh, he's a bad character. <laughs> so, <laughs> but he, he's, he's good if you, like, just go right in his face as Monkey. So you kind of want to just, like, call out the Reaper mm -hmm. and dive something else. Because if you dive something else, the Reaper yeah. has to, like, walk all the way towards yeah. you. Um, and, yeah, Diva, you want to be kind of matrixing him and... If we were running Lucio, we want to be booping the Reaper. Uh, Reaper sucks, so uh, it's kind of easy to play around, but you do have to play around it. So uh, in this in this comp, I would say you, you probably want to dive uh, the Hanzo if, if it's an easy dive. Mm -hmm. um, but remember, remember, it's in this comp, they're running the Lucio and the Mercy. It's too generous. The Mercy wants to be pocketing the Hanzo. Mm -hmm. um, and in that case, the, the the tanks will be actually pretty weak. So we, we want to be following up on big damage from our damage boosted Defera on the tanks. Uh, mm -hmm. we, diving a tank is totally totally valid, um, especially if they're weak and if they have no cooldowns. So we want to be calling out Winston Leap, that kind of thing. And if we get big damage on the tanks, we dive that. If the Hanzo's caught out, we dive that. And we generally just avoid the Reaper. Uh, we don't want to dive him, but we don't don't want to we can just ignore him completely. Um, yeah. Or I just hack better targets, and then they can't do anything anyway, and they just die. Yeah. So yeah, you're well, Sombra here. Yeah, yeah this, this is actually a pretty anti-tank comp. So if you yeah. get a hack on hack on Diva, hack on Monkey, it's uh it's it's extremely good. All, obviously, the money hack is the hack or the Lucio hack uh, makes them a sitting duck. But you want to be generally speaking, Heidi, you want to be hacking tanks and yeah, uh, dive tanks in this scenario. You guys want to be uh, rather than deciding who you want to dive yourself, you want to be following up on big damage from the Pharah or hacks from Hayati. Um, so and just just play passive dance around the Reaper. Uh, Reaper's like Torbjorn, in that Torbjorn is like an overpowered character if you ignore the turret because it's like the turret will do so much and kill your entire team. Yeah. But the reason why Torbjorn sucks is because it's like you just have to kill the turret. And then he's a, he's a bad character. He gives as much power uh, as you give him. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, so, um, yeah. just comment about Sombra hacking Mercy. If Mercy is Valking, I think that there's kind of this conception that uh, she's really good hack target, but like mm -hmm. not really because yeah, like she the only thing is she just she just can't use GA now. Yeah. But she can still fly up high. It's still very hard to kill her. She's still, still healing the whole team mm -hmm. and damages the whole team. So just like if the Mercy is Valking, like she can fly away from you still. So I would just say like don't waste your energy. Did I do that at some point? No, I just, yeah, just I oh okay. I'm just I was saying, just like, like, I knew that. I don't. Yeah, I, okay, I did just, that. Yeah, that's my bad. Like, <laughs> that's that's for all of the DPS. Like it just like I think a lot of Sombras think it's very valuable to hack a Valking Mercy, and it's but it just really, really not. Deny or anything. <laughs> No, like she just can't use GA. She's a little bit. Maybe if you had a widow, it would be more valuable. Mercy, because like she can't use me, GA. Flying here. <laughs> maybe if you're denying a res, I don't know. Yeah. No, two yeah. revs ago where you could like double res back to back. Yeah, then maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe then. But just like a quick comment, like probably just ignore her while she's falking. Yeah, because I just fly yeah. in there when that happens to me. As, oh, I'm as back. Yeah, you, wanna, you kind of want to create a hierarchy of like who your priority hacks are. Um, so in this case, I'd be like. I want to hack this D.Va all the time, healers if I can, uh, Monkey maybe, um, and then the low value hacks are definitely like the Hanzo because it doesn't really benefit that much, and Reaper, in, maybe you can hack him, low value hack though, there's definitely other better better uh, targets, so you kind of, every time you're playing Sombra you want to be like, who are my, my top three hacks, um, yeah. I've got EMP for this fight, so be able to do. That. And this is—I don't see a lot of Sombras do this, uh, but you can get a lot of value if you just like chill out up here. You, you can like farm your EMP so fast by shooting the tanks from up here. You can always get hacks off. So play this area; it's like actually really strong for Sombra. Like even if you use your translocator to get up there, and then just like throw the translocator here or something like that, it's just like you—you you can do so much work with just by sitting up there. And like they won't contest you because they know that you're just gonna translocate out. Like they'll, they'll just kind of like ignore you. Like I find like it, it, it's super good to, to chill yeah, out of there. Got, uh, Boston, but I got uh, okay, let's just standing. Monkey still hat. Here. hat. Monkey hat. Monkey, monkey hat. Monkey. The reverse first, Jane. Oh.
stay at. Just just the the dive, I think, on, on that map. That's the kind of your main. You should be your main beginning. focus. Love Getting those fundamentals of, of if dive. If that doesn't happen, uh, I, good. I need everyone to You'll have a lot more success on that comp, I think. Dive, because since they had a Reaper, I really... Okay, this one I just want to talk about because your comp doesn't really... Like, make sense. Uh um, coming right as well. Did I get a Junkrat? I said one of them off. Junkrat. Orisa, Orisa. Char, you're low, you're low, you low. You need a D.Va above you? D.Va above yeah, you? Yeah, they kind of play okay, into this up, role. Back up, back up. Stabilize. So I think I think your comp on here, um, it, it there's no like there's no objective for you know what I mean. It's like I, I guess you guys are trying to set up for like a Maywall pin or like a Maywall Doomfist combo. Um, it's a CC comp. Yeah, it's yeah. basically just to CC a target and oh, just yeah. like collapse on them and never let them up and just snowball it after that. I mean, you do wall them off. You wall it to break the six stack. Yeah, and then you have all these other CCs to then capitalize on that spread of the enemy team. But we're like, we're not a lot of like we're not really proficient on a lot of these characters. So it was more of like we had talked about it and we just wanted to try it out. And yeah, so yeah, we have like no time on this. Incredibly yeah. well, unless we find. Just all don't shit. like it on this map particularly. So the map. yeah, I think yeah. Well, the one thing is that on this map, like this is the the fair map, like. So not having like an answer to it um, is pretty bad. Like there's high ground up here. This, this your comp is extremely weak to high ground because you have nothing to contest it. So your Rhine and your Hog will be like kind of sitting ducks. Uh, see like the Diva just goes up here, shoots you for free, um, and they kind of just they kind of use halt on you. So another weakness of this comp is like you're running Anna Brigida. Um so you have no speed to engage. So you like take a million damage before you even get to where you want to be. So by the time you get over here, like half your team is like dead. So with the speed boost, you could negate ha literally half the damage because you move twice as quickly. So I think I think we will probably just want to be on Anna Lucio here. Um, oh yeah, yeah. This 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 comp was completely like this comp was designed for a goats counter. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was just it was something that we had gone over. It was something that I just came up with. I went over it with them. Um, because I had seen this comp run on this specific map against goats, um, but you can't like can't ask the enemy team to go goat. So it was just like it was just like something we had talked about, and then you probably heard right there at the beginning we were like, oh, do we want to do that strat? Or do we want to do something different? And it was decided on to do this. So it was more of like a just for yeah, the fuck of it type it thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I think this comp has potential, uh, but I think you you want to try it out on. Uh, maybe like I think you definitely need university Lucia, or yeah, like just a more enclosed map, maybe Nepal Village, yeah. something like that. I think it's better because in, in this, if they don't run goats, you guys are like, you guys are are donezo because yeah, it, we don't like, get to the point first. I think that's also going to be a real big weakness. And yeah, mm -hmm. I wanna, don't, yeah. like goats isn't very common on this map. Yeah, it's because yeah, Fair is so strong on this map that goats sometimes ran, but not that much. Um, to be honest, half yeah, of us so, don't know what's common on maps. So. I yeah, think yeah. university is like university is a much more well, common I mean, pick what's... for goats. Like we used to run goats on university, and then goats became so common that like counter goats was like the thing. So we stopped running yeah. goats on university. I think it's an elo thing too. Different elos are going to run different things on different maps unless That's they're just trying true. to imitate. So yeah. um, also, so running the hog and the rhine generally is not the best i think it's like a i would say it's like a greedy tank combo because you're trying to get the damage and the hook value but you leave your rhine out to die um so i think that's why we, we usually want to play zarya with the rhine because you get almost the same amount of damage as the hog but you can save your rhine uh you have the better ultimate and it's just gen generally a, a little more synergy Rhine can go for plays you can go for pins and swings and get bubbled um so we, we typically want to run the zarya with the Rhine, uh, and then the Hog is like a triple tank, usually. Uh, yeah. Usually we, we run Hog in like a DPS slot. Yeah, again, um, this is this is like a specific idea. So like, yeah, yeah. if we overanalyze it, it's, I mean, yeah, we yeah. know what's wrong with it, and we know why we picked it. So it's like... Yeah, I, I like the, so I think the general thing is I like the concept of the CC comp, but you can give up like, it's like literally every character does CC in this. So you can give up one or two just to help the team out a bit more. You know what I mean? Like you can have the Zarya, and you still have most. So you still have like ninety percent of your CC, right? And and you help your Ryan stay alive. 
you, you can have the Lucio instead of the Brigida. You, you'll lose a little bit of CC, but your Ryan won't die, and you'll be able to get him in position faster to help the rest of your team out. So I think, I think this, yeah, I think this comp is is a little bit risky, but it can work on some scenarios. But uh, yeah, we we I think characters that kind of synergize a little bit better is is what, yeah. what, what yeah, we I mean, want to do. Switch so, to Lucio, you're losing the stun, but you're still getting a way to move them around. Yeah, yeah, it's really with especially with Ryan and like Zarya, like Lucy, you want to run Lucio like pretty much all the time. Because Ryan and Zarya have a really tough time, especially against like they're running Rissa and like Hanzo Junkrat. Um, if you don't have the speed to like get to where you need to be, because they want to fight really close, you guys are just gonna get spammed out and die. So, because uh, they they want to keep yeah. you at arm's length, and they will 100% do that if you guys aren't running the Lucio. So. Uh, maybe we'll, we won't go into this map then, so I think we, we, we wrap it up we there. Yeah, this one was more should, like a we goofy give, experiment than anything yeah. else. So. We should give people a few minute break. Yeah, I gotta. Stretch, yeah. stretch pee, water, whatever you need well, to do. Well, thank you so much. We really thank do you. appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's it's uh, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. I, I think...